Today, we're being offered this surge of positive energy. Opportunities for growth come our way. We're being invited to approach life with a sense of enthusiasm, of passion, of joy. It's a time to set new goals, expand your horizons, and expect, expect miracles and magic to come into play. We're also going to experience this want or this need to reflect on past words, past relationships, perhaps even a creative project that we've accomplished. And we will discover how to enhance these areas of our lives. So join me as we embark on a journey of self-discovery, gaining an understanding of how to embrace this energy and move forward today and every day. So hi, I'm Tilly. This is Tara with Tilly. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for all the positive, loving support you send my way each and every day. I send it right back to you. Welcome to your daily focus, August the 7th, 2024. And let's just jump right into the numerology. Today we have the energy of the seven and the seven is all about harmony. It's all about love. It's all about beauty. It's all about bringing in a balance. And it's about creating the harmony and beauty in our environments, in our relationships. And if we look at the daily numerology, it'd be an eight plus a seven plus an eight. That gives us that beautiful 23 energy. And that is by having a faith and belief that we've got this, that we've got the talents, the abilities, the potential to go forward in any direction that we want to in life. That we have a, a stronger intuition, it's something guiding us towards uh I don't want to say safer areas of our life, but ones that will lead us to where we want to go. So having a faith, a belief that we are here in this moment now because it is moving us one step forward, even though we may not realize it at the time. Two plus three is a five. The five energy is all about giggles and laughter and joy and celebration. It's about letting your creativity flow, allowing romance in, a softness, a sensuality. In astrology, the sun is in Leo, the moon is in Virgo, and the sun sextiles Jupiter is exact today. So I talked about it in, in great length yesterday on yesterday's video, so you may want to pop back to it. Actually, you may want to bookmark it because it's going to be very relevant for the next little while. But, you know, watch the astrology portion. I put the timestamps in the description box so you can just go right to the astrology and listen to that. You don't have to go through everything. Um, but understand how absolutely wonderful this transit is and remind yourself of some of the challenges that can come up during this time to be aware of it. So to recap, you know, this is a time to set a goal, to create an action plan. Success is a little bit more easy to obtain during this time. New doors will open for us. Prepare to seize those opportunities seize the moment, stay positive, approach life with a sense of joy, a sense of enthusiasm. And I forgot completely to even mention this yesterday, but this energy is around us today and tomorrow, which will be the peak of the Lionsgate portal opening to us. So you definitely don't want to miss tomorrow's video just because I said that. It's a time to focus on your deepest desires to take one bold step closer to achieving your dreams. Now we also have Mercury conjunct Venus and that helps us in expressing our affection. And we want, we're at least drawn to beauty during this time. We don't want to covet it as much as we want to see it present in our lives surrounding us. And so we're drawn to the beauty we see around us. Now, this is happening in Virgo, so this transit is just heightened by the energy of love and beauty. And Mercury is retrograde, so that's going to bring in more of a reflective energy to this transit. So we may find that we're revisiting past conversations, gaining new insight, understanding. We'll see where we need to improve in our communications. How we do it, why we do it, when we do it, what words we use, what situations, environments we, we place ourselves into for these things. 
what kind of energy we allow ourselves to be surrounded by when we're having these conversations, when we're trying to make a point, when we're trying to get some kind of buy-in, when we're asking for that favor. We may look at the dynamics in our relationships to grow relationships stronger. So we could reflect on some past relationships that we've been through and understanding what we learned from them. Okay, what worked? What didn't work? Or we could be revisiting a creative project and how to beautify it even more, or refine it in some way. We'll see the small details that perhaps when we did it, we overlooked. And of course, as we reflect on these areas of our life, we may experience some painful memories. So know that you're also being drawn into this loving embrace to allow healing during this time. We could overthink things under this energy. We could demand perfection. So make sure that you shift your mindset a little bit more towards I'm making progress today rather than some kind of finality. Okay, let's let's go to the cards. Let's see what they have to say for us. But it is a fabulously beautiful time to manifest the things in your life. I will go in great detail tomorrow about that. Our underlying energy is the Ten of Cups. The happily ever after. I kid you not. I can't make this stuff up. Oh my goodness. Our our mindset, our focus will be on our happily ever after, our best life ever, what we want to bring into our lives, where we want the happiness, the joy, the love, the prosperity, the abundance. So make sure that your focus is on your happiness and the growth of your happiness, your joy, how you are taking bold steps forward to bring in the magnificence is what I hear. The magnificence of your path forward. We have the Knight of Cups. This is, well, you could meet somebody today that is like your knight in shining armor. Maybe they become a mentor, a best friend, a lover. Maybe they help us see ourselves in a new light so that we can see our potential, so we can see where we can grow, so we can see our talents and abilities through somebody else's eyes. This is about one-on-ones. This is being present in the conversations and the relationships, making ourselves present. This is a perfect time to meet somebody in the park, to go for a walk, or maybe have a small lunch together or a drink, or meet for dinner, or meet for a coffee, or a beer, a glass of wine, water, whatever you drink, tea. It's about, it's about the love within the relationship. It's about growing that bond. It's about strengthening that relationship in some way today. So what are the relationships you want to strengthen? The Knight of Swords. Oh my goodness, the Knight of Swords. This is impulsiveness, so we need to watch this energy just a little bit. But I think this is also a very beautiful energy for the kind of energy that we are experiencing around us because this tells us, okay, this is us, okay, going through, you know, going through any kind of uh, dense area with a horse, okay, unless there's an actual path to follow, you really have to dismount because you have to be aware of your surroundings, okay? You don't want your horse to put their foot in a, a rabbit hole or something or a golfer's hole and, and break their leg. You don't want, you know, will we be able to get over that tree stump or around those rocks, whatever it may be, a huge bunch of trees or a huge, huge bunch of um, thickets and bush that you have to get through. And so you, you have to find the right way. And so usually you have to dismount. And so really essentially the path that we have walked for the last little while could have been filled with all kinds of trips and falls and obstacles and limitations and it made us have to, it forced us to go a lot slower than we would have liked in going in towards I hear the word magnificence again so now we hit this clearing we come to 
the edge of the forest and we hit this clearing and we jump on our stallion. We raise our sword and we yell charge. So this is very much about seizing the moment, seizing the opportunity, going with it, seeing what's happened. Now, when I say that, know that this is a young energy. So we're bound to make a couple of mistakes, a couple of mishaps, but our our belief, you know, when we're younger, we believe when we're a kid, we believe we can do anything we want. We just have to say we want to do it and then we'll step into the opportunity. And that's very much our mindset. You know, I want to be a firefighter. I want to be a teacher. I want to be a policeman. I want to be a doctor, whatever it is. They don't really think about the path at all. When you ask a child, they just say, well, here I am as a kid, but once I'm grown up, this is what I'm going to look like. And they don't worry about the path in between. And this is essentially what we do too. So know that it is a learning experience that you will be running towards, but it is a wonderful learning experience that you're running towards because you are experiencing the growth of what works, of how much potential you have. Our final card is the four of wands. Well, I don't think everybody's getting married today. So we're going to have to generalize a little bit, aren't we? I, I really get this card, though, as, you know, what was it? Maybe not last week, maybe the week before. Maybe it was last week. I really got this card as celebrate the moment, seize the moments. Every moment counts and every moment should be celebrated in some way. And I know that sounds, you know, well, first of all, impossible because while you're celebrating the moment, you know, five, five minutes of gone by kind of thing, but it's about being in the moment. It's about being present. And all these cards today are telling us to be present and in the moment to embrace the opportunities, to embrace the learning experiences. And even if we're pulled back a little bit as we're, as we're thinking through a few things, we are embracing the learning and the knowledge that we will get from reviewing it, okay? Now, when you review, okay, try to take the emotion out of it and see it more of a logical standpoint, okay? Don't try and allow your emotions into there because the emotions is probably what made it a cesspool, Okay. Take the emotion out of it and just apply the logic to it. What did you learn? What was that first red flag you saw? You know, what? how can you become more knowledgeable in recognizing that red flag instantly instead of what did it take you? 10 years to react to it? Five years to react to it? Two months to react to it? So this is very be in the moment kind of energy. This is understanding our potential. This is believing in our potential. This is believing in ourselves that we already hold the key to the door of our tomorrow. That all we have to do is walk towards the door and open it. So very childlike in the end, in our thoughts and in our energy, but it's very, <laughs> it's very transformative. It's very magical in our development. Okay, let's go to an oracle card. Illumination, the two energy. Okay, the, the two energy in tarot is the high priestess. It is about the magic. The magic that surrounds us and the magic within. Just as a full moon sheds its light on our world, you are being shown that there is hope and guidance for you. Have faith. Very much the 23 energy. Have faith. Just holding on to a belief in yourself will plant the seed of manifestation in your life. Write that down on a post-it note and just put it somewhere. And just put, just holding on to the belief in myself will plant the seed of manifestation in my life. And just hold on to that seed of hoping, of wishing, of desiring, of passion. That belief. You are being asked to release any worry or fear that you may be harboring. The clarity you desire is at hand. All you need is something in which to place your faith. So trust in yourself, your support and the divine. 
You will be assisted in difficult times. This can also signify inspiration and new love, which is also the Knight of Cups. Can be new loves, that knight in shining armor whisking you away. There is a shedding of light on hidden treasures or surprises. There is a shedding of light <laughs> on the hidden treasures and or surprises, which is very much the the magical that comes into our life. Okay, let's uh I just love how the cards all go together and it matches the numerology, it matches the astrology. And that's why I like doing so many uh bringing in so many different things you know i should bring in my runes i haven't brought in my out my runes since i started this i had my runes at the beginning at some point because they all say the same thing regardless of where we're turning our attention to or they add to it they expand on it the bear the awakening are we awakening yes we most certainly are awakening So our keywords are uncertainty, openness, awakening, negativity, hibernation. When we fall asleep, we withdraw our awareness from its hypnotic fasc fascination with physical sensation, thereby enabling us to listen with now. Listen now. No, listen our. Okay, just like repeat. I don't edit, so you're just going to have to listen to it all over again. Sorry. When we fall asleep, we withdraw our awareness from its hypnotic fascination with physical sensation, thereby enabling us to listen with our now awakened sixth sense. Bear reminds you that you've been hibernating and hiding from your passions and your own true self for far too long. Now is the time to open your mind, your heart and soul and see with all your senses, but most importantly, your sixth sense. Spend some time each morning journaling, listening to your heart, release the fear and only hear the love of what you want out of that love. The fears only prevent you from crawling out of the cave and they cause you to be grumpy and negative. And Bear says it's time, it's your time of awakening. Maybe you've always wanted to write a book. Learn an instrument. Learn how to net. Maybe you've been afraid to sign up for that class because you've just been caught within this web of fear for so long you forgot how good it felt to stretch and to feel the love that is around you and surrounds you. The love that you create from within. No matter what speaks to your soul, release the fear and allow Bear to stand beside you to assist you with your awakening. Don't allow your limited view to bring about fear. Because you were on the verge of something great. You are on the verge of something great. You just, wow, you just don't know how close you are to that door of abundance right now, people. Push the fear aside and feel the awakening bubbling up within you. Bear may be telling you that you need a good sound sleep, one that's undisturbed and restful. Once you awaken from that sleep, you will feel refreshed and ready to take on the world. Bears are resourceful before, during, and after their hibernation. Bear wants you to teach you too to be resourceful in your life. Are, are you purchasing too much food that is going unused? Or could it be that your closet is filled with clothes that you haven't worn in years? Bear says it's time to simplify. And that's kind of funny because that's part of the Virgo energy too, is getting rid of the clutter, okay? Getting rid of the distractions. So it is a beautiful time. Join me tomorrow. Well, go back and listen to yesterday's astrology so you really understand this energy that you are in right now. But join me tomorrow as I talk about the Lion Gate portal being open to us right now. And it's at its peak tomorrow. Until we meet again. Remember, I do love you. <laughs>